Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to turn on guided access. Let's go to settings. It's going to be under general, which is already highlighted here on the left. We go to accessibility. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Choose guided access. Push this little button to turn it on. We're going to enter a passcode. I chose one, two, three, four just for demonstration purposes. I recommend using something that the kids that you work with aren't going to guess. So make sure that the accessibility shortcut is green. That allows us to triple click on the home button to um, wake up the guided access functionality within the app. So let's go pick an app. We're going to come over here and pick Proliquo to go. Triple click, one, two, three. So here's guided access. Some of the cool features of this uh, are that you can circle areas of the screen that you want to turn off. For example, if you wanted to make sure that they can't use any of these buttons down here at the bottom, you just draw with your finger, move some things around, and there you go. Let's hit start. So I'm trying to, I can push these buttons, right? This home button, the keyboard down at the very bottom, none of it's working. If I triple click again, one, two, three, and then enter my code, one, two, three, four, that is the only way to turn some of this off. You also have options over here, so if you want to make sure that you can turn the volume up and down, or that you can push the sleep and wake button. You need to make sure that those are green. Motion allows for it to be turned um, in landscape versus portrait, and then you have your keyboards. Um, you can also make the whole screen go uh, black, I guess is the way to say it, so that it isn't accessible. So if you want to let a kid watch YouTube or Netflix but don't want them leaving that app, you can turn on that function. Again, hit resume, now nothing on my iPad works. Triple click. Let's say that we enter the wrong passcode. It says that we have to wait 10 seconds before we can try it again. So, four seconds. One, two, three, four. If you enter the passcode incorrectly too many times, you can get locked out of your iPad for a very long time. So, try not to let your kids do that um, usually the kids that I've worked with in the past are deterred after one or two trials of it and in, in, in the passcode not working. So that's it. We're going to hit end. And now we can leave. Thanks and let me know if you have any questions.